Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Now, the Spanish have made a very poor uh, choice in that they think that they uh, they should be going to war with Germany. That is not going to end well with them. Uh, end well with them. Well, for them. We should be able to get them blockaded pretty darn quick. Again, I don't know what's going on with the blockades. We should be blockading France, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, the Trapper has found the Diadem, a Europa class, from the British uh, down here near our invasion fleet, which we can uh, we can open the episode with a, with a little bit of a cruiser battle, although we're rocking a modern heavy cruiser in 1920 somehow. Uh, it's not going to go super well for them. Yeah, they're running away. Right, running away battles are not the most interesting things in the world. Um, well, that is an interesting layout. Uh, I, uh, I'm i just going to time-lapse this, and I'll see you at the end. Hello, uh, future me here. I made a boo-boo. I had my microphone off. <laughs> so Ramstein bumped into uh, this pretty big fleet. And I was having a look at it, and I thought she could take everything except the line, which is a new ship that I hadn't seen before, Collingwood class. Definitely an AI design, but it looked pretty capable. Um, so I was I was a bit hesitant, and I thought, what would, what would a real... What would real life situation be? Well, you would try and withdraw, and in the moment you'll see I press the withdraw button. And um, yeah, normally when you press the withdraw button, it uh, it doesn't work. But da -da 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 -da, success. So the round sign gets away. So apologies for that. Fuck's sake. Okay, it was it was a ghost battle anyway, so that's fine. Uh, the Goliath, meanwhile, has run into our fleet in the Bay of Biscay here. So this is the Nilfheim's fleet. Uh, this, I, thi I think it's the same type as the other ship. It's just a heavier one. Um, that the, the, <laughs> the Rammstein didn't engage with. I'm so annoyed with myself. It, I... It hard, the game hardly ever, hardly ever gives you a success when you try and withdraw from a battle. Hardly ever. And I was really not expecting it to, to work. But it, it was the right strategic decision, but it's just content decision. No, I'm really tired at the moment. Uh, for those of you who are, who, who may be new to the channel, maybe just video where I talk about it. Uh, I do mention it every now and then. I have long COVID. And it's usually not a problem for when I'm recording videos. But uh, it does make me very tired. It also makes me a little bit silly uh, and make bad decisions when I'm tired. A bit of brain fog. It's not bad. Uh, not nearly as bad as some other folks. Um, but uh, it gets worse, the symptoms, when uh, there's a there's some other bug that I'm trying to fight off. Um, cold, flu, something of that nature. And there is something going around my kid's school that, yeah, it's just one of these lingering colds never seems to go away. And uh, it's starting to get at me, especially as the temperature is starting to dip. So yeah, I'm feeling it. So if I'm making silly, goofy decisions, 
I do apologise. Interesting layout, this uh, ship. A, B, uh, A, N, B. With a secondary. It could be a player based off a of player design. It was just that the uh, the random assortment of uh, gun calibers and the very it's just when you get weird numbers, I, I tend to think it's the AI, but it does look like it's based off a uh, human design. Because it does look quite good. No way to tell if it's based off a human design, of course. Uh, unless uh, one of you lot recognise it. Othello, Ryan, and the Destroyer should be able to catch up to it, though. Uh, come on. Let's get you identified. Right. Many bolt. You know, it's definitely an AI design. Look at that offset. Um, terrible pitch as well. With Mark II guns, probably woeful accuracy. Uh, an 8.7 inch, 7.3 inch casements, a couple of 3.1s, 1.9 dotted about. And four and a half torpedoes. Yeah, that is uh, that's an AI special. What's the armor like? Again, it looks like it starts off like a player design, fourteen seven, and then the rest is just weird nonsense. So I think this is based off a player's design. Got some high end techs in there as well. It is a solid ship. And yeah, I think the uh, Ramstein would have uh, would have had some trouble with it, especially as she had quite a lot of backup. So I'm not super sad that I oh there we go main deck pen by the Othello. I'm not super sad that I uh, avoided that fight. That is exactly what a battle cruiser would do in that situation. Uh, I'm just used to the Yorick where uh, if I press withdraw. <laughs> Right press withdraw. Or just like, <laughs> no, there's enemies to fight. And yeah, it is very rare that that actually works, but there you go. Game throwing me a bone. Goliath doing the sensible thing here, running away. However, I think once you see that you cannot run away, she's got a maximum speed of 24 and a half knots. Othello can do 28, and the battleships back here can do 21. So it's not like she's uh, going to get away quickly. And if she is taking fire, she would be better off turning and fighting at this point, I think. Escape is, is not possible. And yeah, oh, again, a fellow main deck Ben. And another one? No, half belt. But those hits, they hurt. Yeah, casement. Torpedoes. Look at that, 72% accuracy. What's the range from Goliath to Othello at the moment? 12 kilometers? The uh, Z3 continues to approach pretty close here. Even close. Right. Has your torpedo launcher been blown up? I think it has. Well, that's typical, isn't it? We also have the uh, 
3-11 back here. Torpedoes away. Two hit. Don't do a lot. Uh, I thought three on the Goliath. They do cause her to turn away. Just going to put a broadside on to the guns. And yeah, she's going to get taken apart. Both of her rear guns out of action, by the way. Not that it matters because, uh, well, they can still fight, although they've had their ammunition hoists damaged, I think. Ryan gonna fire some torpedoes at it? That could be uh, potentially devastating, but no, she sinks. Six before that happens. It's a shame. I don't know what she was doing out alone, unescorted. But down she goes. Alright, we found another British battleship. This one's even bigger. The Ocean Class, 55,000 tons. Again, running 10, 14 ish inch guns. Bit faster. 25-ish knots. Uh, again, it looks like an AI design. Possibly a riff on a player design, though. Um, we don't have a lot of force to go against her. We've got two GK2s and a GK3, but it's a transport battle. So we might be able to just piss her off with the heavy cruisers while the destroyers go in, mop up the transports, and then, you know, maybe we get a torpedo on it. Look, it's the same, same layout. A, N, B, X, Y. Very interesting. Very interesting. Destroys together. So you turn your torpedoes off. Let's go. Oh, there is the battleship. Okay. Should be able to engage it. She's coming at us. Yeah, look, same, same main gun layout, different secondaries. But again, same weird mixture of stuff that makes me think that this is this is based on a player's design, but not surely a player's design. Anyway, we'll try peppering her with 8-inch guns as best we can. There are the transports. So the Eisenwälzer and the Unbeskbar are going to fix the Elbert, and the destroyers are going to go for the uh, going to go for the target here. I'm going to switch the destroyers to normal, uh, just so that they can kind of launch a spread. Yeah, there we go. Just try and piss the uh, piss the battleship off as they head for the... Oh, you have torpedoes, do you? I was going to say, just piss it off as they head for the transports. Enemy torpedoes makes it a little bit annoying. 
Taking a fair number of hits. Right, let's have a quick look at it. Maximum bulkheads does have a big offset. Well armoured. Crypt 4 as well. That's nothing to sniff at. 16 inches of Crypt 4. Light chew powder dunite. Interesting shell makeup. Yeah, that is definitely based on a player's design. Just uh, butchered. And uh, it may not seem like 8 inch guns can hurt it, but it's not all 16 inches of armor. No, hit it enough. Yeah, look, crew loss already up to 35% because it's got a green crew. Which means minus 2.4% damage control. Which means that those fires are going to rage out of control and cause real problems for the ocean. Oof. Causing problems of her own on the Z4 11. I'm going to order out of the battle. Again, doing a good job avoiding the torpedoes, but... Well, one actually did hit, but it was a dud. Just so many hits. So many fires. 44%. 45%. Surrendered. That's no good. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Elbert. <laughs> I didn't realise how close she'd gotten. Closing to uh, very close range. Turn your torpedoes back off before you torpedo are friendly. Oh my word. <laughs> Seven torpedoes basically punching a hole through the middle of the turbulent. Anyway, I will time lapse the remaining transport murdering. Although, actually, no, there's only three of them left. It's not going to take very long. It's really not going to take very long. I'm going to have another look at the ocean. Is there anything that would have contributed to a death by fire and surrendering other than the crew? It's always worth checking. Uh, bulkheads, reinforced bulkheads too. So that's fine. She has maximum bulkheads. So yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing component-wise that would make me think that she would be particularly susceptible to that. Just, a, yeah, a green crew. That's That's not what you want. <laughs> that is not what you want. See the difference here with a train crew? 14.8% and a veteran crew, 60% damage control buff. Really makes a huge difference. You don't want to be setting sail with anything less than a train crew. Right. That is that one. Uh, I'm going to head back to the map. There we go. Without even trying. Uh, I know we're now into November. Uh, I have indeed blockaded the Spanish. No, I don't want to be allied with China. I, I don't care. I don't want to fight China's wars as well. Allies just being annoying. Ah, oh, five. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right. Uh, I haven't actually looked at my text. Uh, you want some LK2s? Sure. We'll sell you LK2s. Uh, okay. Bunch of things. No! Stop! Stop sending me those during a war. Okay? I'm I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm busy, alright? How long till those LK2s are finished? Six months. And then we've got a bunch of export orders. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, da, 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 da. Good. Uh, York is sinking uh, convoys, by the way. But uh, the Americans don't seem willing to fight. Again, mission generation seems weird. 
uh, at the moment. Got a little convoy battle this month. Uh, but yes, with Spain blockaded, although that might be because I've got this huge fleet. Mind you, they're in the north, uh, Central Atlantic, not the North Atlantic. So that's fine. Uh, Spain surely cannot fight too long. Yeah, they've got 13 armoured cruisers. That's really pathetic. Uh, Soviets moving against us. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Give up. What are we getting here? Triple turrets on light cruisers. Woo! Okay, that'll be the LK... Uh, LK3s. We can get under construction soon then. That's good. Anything new here? Oh, the destroyer leaders. Z5s. Excellent. Uh, I guess then it is shoving the priority into the uh, cruise design tech to uh, allow us to build giant chungus... Um, super cruisers. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to time lapse this one and uh, I'll see you back on the map. And there we go. Simple stuff. Back to the map. Welcome back. Uh, the Ramstein has indeed found uh, somebody to fight. But uh, this is going to be saved for the next episode. Because there's an awful lot going on in December, apparently. Uh, everybody's decided to have a fight for Christmas. Um, <laughs> so that is all going to be in the next episode. Because I'm tired and I need to go have a lie down. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.